Welcome back to the Blank Sheet Project, where DNAD, in partnership with R. Joe Wiggins Creative Papers, showcase world famous creative people and their creative journeys. We want to know what makes them tick, how they began, how they've achieved what they've achieved, and how they tackle the ultimate yet daily creative challenge of the blank sheet of paper. <laughs> It gives me great pleasure to welcome Diesel's founder, chairman, and party animal in chief, Renzo Rosso. Renzo, good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> you have been on an incredible journey over these last, uh, what, 30 years or so. And I'd love to now take you back to the very, very beginning of that journey and talk to you about the spark of inspiration that led you to start. Do you remember the first time you took out a piece of paper and said, I'm going to draw a pair of jeans? I remember when I was 15, thanks to the fashion school, uh, I, I cut with, uh, and uh, I stitching with the, the, the machine, the single machine of my mother, a pair of jeans, uh, and it was uh, incredible. It was like a 42 centimeter by bottom, uh, very low belt, uh, and uh, it was an incredible success. So fr from that moment, uh, I started to produce jeans for my friend. And uh, that's the beginning, and uh, step by step, uh, here we are today. Is there a campaign or a product or an idea that really lives in your mind as being particularly special? Every campaign that we have done are really fantastic, especially in the beginning, because the beginning was the very big change. And then the African campaign was incredible, because uh, 12 years ago, uh, we talk about Africa can be the, the country that really solved the problem of the rest of the world. Mm. And now it's very actual, but we have did this one 12 years ago. That's, a, that's a really amazing, incredible. Uh, but uh, I always like to say that um, uh, the best uh, must be the next. So when uh, people ask me, uh, which is your favorite campaign or your favorite pay, pair of jeans, I like to answer uh, next one. Great. Um, you know, quite a few brands in the world manage to be creative sometime. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes even quite an unexceptional brand will create one campaign and you think, well, that's, you know, cool. But very few of them manage to do it year in, year out over a very, very long period. And I think Diesel is one of the brands that has managed to do that. What's, what's the key to making that happen? How have you created that I think a company can be alive only if they have a creativity. If you have a creativity, uh, the consumer, the leaders, the people can come to see you. If you are just a, a product, you have to make a war for price. There you can have a million brands. My, my dream, my philosophy is, uh, I, I write also a book, Be Stupid. Be Stupid, the, the slogan is, uh, um, see things uh, how they can be. So the message inside the company is uh, uh, if you work on the reception, if you clean in the warehouse, or if you are a manager, or if it's just uh, you writing invoices, uh, try uh, to see in the way that you can, uh, uh, can be how you can do in a better way. And uh, with uh, this motivation, uh, people are becoming more motivated. To, to work in inside the company, and uh, to keep it, uh, to keep it them uh, um, at this level, you have to work in team. This is very important. Me alone can be no one. With this company, can be nothing. Even can not, not exist. I am just a, a lucky guy that I can drive them. But uh, it's very important team. Team work uh, fantastic because a team uh, you can win a cup, you can win a uh, award, you can uh, win a success, uh, you can uh, you can be diesel. Um, if we think about the history of diesel advertising, um, there's always been a question in my mind, which is: Is the advertising a pure reflection of diesel itself, or has the advertising itself? helped diesel to evolve before I do advertising i really want to be sure that i have a know-how that uh, the consumer buy my product because it is a nice product and quality product so we create advertising 
not uh, uh, for uh, other people, create the advertise that we want to receive. Uh, be stupid uh, is uh, the result, uh, uh, the summary of all my life. Because in all my life, I feel so many times like a stupid, uh, because I was an entrepreneur, a pioneer, a pioneer interpreter, and I do things before others. And 95% uh, of the time, people don't understand. Uh, for example, in the US, the Wall Street Journal uh, writing, uh, who is this guy that I want to sell jeans in America for a double price? Uh, of an uh, enormous price. The most expensive at the moment was $52, and then we sell it then for $100. So when you do uh, things before other, uh, people treat you like a stupid. And uh, this is was the summary of my, my life, and when they, this is again the collaboration that we talked before with the agency, when I tell how many times uh, of my life I feel stupid, he may say, thinking, <laughs> ever, ever this idea, wow, why we cannot uh, do a campaign, be stupid. Be stupid, smart people are the people see things, uh, how the things how they are today, and the stupid people are the people that see things really how they can be. And you can see the most uh, important people that have done uh, a change in the world, uh, like uh, Gandhi or Mandela, uh, these people at the end, uh, they, 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 are, they are considered stupid.